students welcome to me to maths classes today we are doing class 12 mathematics ncert exam block chapter 10 that is vector algebra your first question is the vector in the direction of the vector i minus 2j plus 2k that has magnitude 9 is so we are supposed to find a vector whose magnitude is 9 and in the direction of this given vector let this given vector is a i minus 2j plus 2k. Now the required vector r the required vector r has magnitude 9 units and we have to give the direction of a. So first of all we have to find the direction vector of a. For that, first of all, find out a magnitude of a that is square root of 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 2 square that is square root of 1 plus 4 plus 4 that is square root of 9 and that is 3. So magnitude of a is 3. So the direction vector of a is a vector divided by its magnitude. And that is 1 by 3 i minus 2j plus 2k. This is the direction vector of a. Now the required vector r will become 9 into 1 by 3 i minus 2j plus 2k. So the required vector is 3 times i minus 2j plus 2k. And your option C is correct. Your second question is the position vector of the point which divides the join of this and this in the ratio 3 is to 1. So we are supposed to find the join of this A point whose position vector is 2A minus 3B. And B point whose position vector is A plus B. And we are supposed to find the position vector of C which divides it in the ratio 3 is to 1. Let R be the position vector of C. So using section formula. The position vector of C is 3 times the position vector of B plus 1 time the position vector of A divided by 3 plus 1 that is 3A plus 3B plus 2A minus 3B upon 4 and that is equals to 5A upon 4. So the required vector is 5a upon 4 and our option D is correct. Your question number 3 is the vector having initial and terminal points as 2, 5, 0 and minus 3, 7, 4 respectively is. So you are given the initial point of the vector is a as 2, 5, 0 and terminal point of this vector is minus 3, 7, 4. So we have to find the vector AB. And vector AB is position vector of B minus position vector of A. And that is equals to position vector of B is minus 3i plus 7j plus 4k and position vector of a is 2i plus 5j plus 0k and that is equals to minus 5i plus 7 minus 5 is plus 2j plus 4 minus 0 is plus 4k. So this is the required vector AB with initial point A and terminal point B. Your next question is the angle between two vectors A and B 
with magnitude on root 3 and 4 respectively and a dot b is 2, 2 root 3. So we are given, we are supposed to find out the angle between two vectors a and b whose uh, magnitude, magnitude of a is root 3, magnitude of b is 4 and a dot b you are given as 2 root 3 and we are supposed to find out the angle between them. So let theta be the angle between a and b. Then using dot product cos of theta must be equals to a dot b divided by magnitude of a into magnitude of b. So a dot b is 2 root 3 upon root 3 into 4. So this is half cos theta is half that implies theta will be pi by 6. So your option A is correct. Your fifth question is find the value of lambda such that the vector A that is 2i plus lambda j plus k and vector B that is i plus 2j plus 3k are orthogonal. So you are given that A and B are orthogonal that means the vector A is perpendicular to B and if the two vectors are perpendicular their dot product must be equals to 0 and you are given the two vectors A is 2i plus lambda j plus k and the vector B is i plus 2j plus 3k. So what component wise a dot b will be equals to 2 into 1 plus lambda into 2 plus 1 into 3 and that is equals to 0. So 2 plus 2 lambda plus 3 is equals to 0. So 2 lambda plus 5 is equals to 0. So lambda is equals to minus 5 by 2. So your option D is correct.